What is up everybody, it's Mr. Orange here, welcome to a game called a one shot. One of those games is kind of like Undertale where it kind of breaks the fourth wall in uh, communicating with the player as in like, hey, you reset blank a number of times or Sans says, hey, I've killed you so many times at times. On this game, the game is supposedly supposed to uh, communicate with the uh, player more than most games. And I actually have to do it in... Um, full screen mode, not full screen, in, in uh, window mode, because window mode is apparently better in this game, and it will, uh, I don't know why, but they said I was supposed to do that because if I don't, I'll have issues. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll jump right in, and um, it's for Felix, the judge. All right, well, thank you, Felix, for whatever. Okay, um, I could use a controller. But I think I think I'm just gonna use uh, my keyboard. That'll work just fine with me. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experience in windowed mode. Closing the game will save the progress. This uh, game also auto saves after some key events. Good to know. Okay. Fudge. <laughs> that that doesn't scare you out of your wits when you first. H Hello. My goodness, that was just, <laughs> she's like a cat person or something. All right, so, um, I don't know what this is right here. There's a TV remote here. Cool. Nico picks it up. Good job, Nico. I wonder what happens if I like, no, I can't make it bigger. Okay, that's fine. Um, what, what's this? A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch breaks off. Cool. Okay, there's my huge eyes, my goodness. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. All right, I'm Nico. There's no wire in the toilet. That doesn't sound good. The tub won't run. Okay, neither one of those are good. Also, I mean, I sleep in my clothes, but not very many people do otherwise, so that's kind of odd. And she has a hat on, I'm pretty sure. Or Nico might be a boy, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, dusty books. Too dark to read them. Too dark to read them. Um, and then they said S was... Okay. What am I supposed to do with the dry blanch? I don't know. Okay, you know, I'm just going to go in here and go... There we go. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Oh, I know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to branch and open the window? No, okay. How about this? In the faint light, Nico gets a glimpse of the face of the remote. All the numbers except 0, 6, 7, and 4 are missing. So, 0 is green, 6 is blue, yellow, okay, green, blue, yellow, red, 0, 6, 7, 4. 0, 6, 7, 4. 0, 6, 7, 4. Is that right? Oh, good. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will uh, this will be apparent with you outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your affections here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you have one shot energy. The freaking heck. I never typed in my name. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Nico hears the sound of the back door unlocking. So that'd be, that'd be this door, right? What the heck? <laughs> Hello, anyone? All right, let's see. Here's the kitchen. Seems like nothing is working, so I'm guessing this isn't gonna work either. Oh, inside the refrigerator is a inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Ooh, Nico takes it. Sweet. Um, the TV is broken. The TV gives off a dangerous-looking spark. Oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Um. Can I just do... I probably shouldn't put just the alcohol in. Maybe... Okay, what, what branch and equal an empty bottle? Okay. 
So, grab this. Hopefully, don't kill myself. Nico reaches the branch. Ah! It's on fire. That's good. And voila. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object. Uh, why didn't the crack of the floor? What is it? Oh, it's a basement key. Okay, is that... What's over here? Is this the basement? There's no basement to there. So, what's this? What? What is that? Okay. Now, why is the fire blue? Hmm. Oh, okay. Basement key. Jeez. I got attacked. Alright, here we go down the stairs. Okay. Hello. What is that? Oh, that's that's the object I need. Okay, let's grab it. And kaboop. What? A large light bulb. It's the sun. What? Why is it on? I must be magical. <laughs> it's the sun? That makes no sense. How does that make any sense? You can hold the sun in this world, I guess. All right, and I think this goes over here, and I should be good to go. Then we can find out what's out in this world. Oh, that's right. I, I have to use this on it. There we go. Boop. It's a key of a sense. Whoa. What's left of the computer terminal? Okay, so these are all kind of broken. Yeah, they're all broken. Whoa. Okay, where am I? First travel. Fast travel. Not <laughs> fast travel. I can't read. You can quickly travel to the locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. Default key for it is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Okay. So if I hit A, travel, travel. Okay, so that's easy enough. I can just travel back and forth really easily. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? Uh, I think I'll go up here. I, I don't know where to go. I don't know. Is there people here in this world or, or what? More cat people? <laughs> Some sort of like docks or something. This looks kind of cool. I like this. Oh wait, that's a person. I think that's a person over there. Hello, person. Um, hello. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Um. Let's go up here. Ooh, a house. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Energy. Nico first woke up in the world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and it can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is not the time for rest. I'm trying to understand how it knows who I am. That's what I'm... Like, I don't know that. I didn't write it in. That's what bugs me. Uh, it's a broken off section. Uh, a section of railing. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I'll take that. Um, and all I have is that. Metal rod. Lightning cannot be combined. Okay. Empty bottle. Okay. All right. Let's roll.
The air here is unbreathable. Okay, so I can't go that way. Well, that's odd. What, a couple feet away and I can't breathe and come back and I'm fine? Also, I have, like, really cool looking little, like, uh, blueprint. Uh, not blueprint, uh, footprints. It's interesting. Okay. Oh, I think shift was run, right? Oh my goodness, this is so much better. Forget walking. Okay, I'll go this way, I guess. Run, run, run. Oh, look. There's a... Oh, it's a robot. Ah! That light bulb. You are here. M me? Yes. Welcome to the world, friend. I am most... I am at... I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Let me explain some things. I may I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. Uh you are the savior and we have been waiting. You are the savior we've been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Ooh. Um <laughs> I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about um, the light bulb? How about that? I found it in the house when I woke up. Within your hands is our new son. Your son. Yes. Years ago, the previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its light onto the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. Surface on this of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Unfortunately for us, the element stored light energy. Oh, fortunately for us, the element stored light energy from the previous sun. It's now our it's now our only source of illumination, but the energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah. But now you are here with the new sun and all is well. You'll need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. I don't even know where this tower is. I can't see it. Yes, begin. so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If it shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about um, going home? Oh, I didn't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still know how I got here. I just want to go, I just, literally, I was just with my mom a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am able to help you beyond your my programming. I am sorry. Oh. Um, computer. In the house, I found this computer. I kept saying stuff like, your actions will have effects, Nico, will affect Nico, but... I'm Nico. <laughs> Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had a guess, I might say they're trying to pass the message to energy. <laughs> Once again, how the heck? Energy. Ah. That would be our god. I am their god. <laughs> if you are here, that means energy is here also. Energy will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted energy yet i don't think so i'm gonna get like a phone call now <laughs> be the bringer of the sun you uh, have the sacred ability to communicate to communicate with directly with energy an ability that no one else possesses certainly not i please close your eyes and focus all right hello energy you there <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's me Oh, nice to meet you, Energy. My name is Nico. Hello, Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name was Energy. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Not to be afraid to ask Energy for assistance. You're the Messiah after all. Okay, so what am I? I'm the God, and he's the Messiah. She, she, it's the Messiah. 
Can you tell me about uh, this world? I'm sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything is so dark. Our world is not always this dim. Nor was it always so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. This world is divided by three regions. You are in the fridge right now, the barons. That tower you see is in the distance one. Once in the distance, once held our sun. Oh. So that's that tall thing. What that tall thing was. Okay, I gotcha. As, uh, as you go further towards the center, you will cross the outer regions. There should be a map still in the outpost somewhere. Ooh, okay, so that would be uh, where he was standing. I think it's all I need for now. I wish you luck. Okay, so it was like in here. I, I think this is what he's considering an outpost? I don't know. Um, ooh, what's this? This box is interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Ooh, well, I have a metal rod. Pipe won't fit into the cracks, energy. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Okay, I'll flatten that later. A robot may not injure a living person through uh, an action, allow, though an action allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except when such orders conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as, it, as such protection does not conflict with the first and second law. Cool. What's this? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm in the Barrens, which is kind of the outside region. And then there's the Glen and the Refuge. Cool. All right. I think I'm going to go look for something to flatten this rod with. Uh, maybe it's in here. Ooh, a note. Okay, cool. Page of Fainted Ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high, as expected. We provided a customized backup customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and their signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single and that's all I can read. Okay. What's this say? There are a lot of small glowing shrimp in the jar. Okay. Some sort of small... I can't talk. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Okay. And... Ooh! What's this thing? Is this a generator they're talking about? Big machine. Doesn't seem to do anything right now. There's a rectangular shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in there. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So I need to go over here. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who will work here. I hope this man knows what he's doing in management. Alright, what do we have up here? Fitted poster. Mind it all, workers. Various form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond bubbling over the surface, please contact. Oh! Okay, cool. So that's like the best form of phosphor, so I need to find a. a type of pond with something over it, a bubble over it. It's a faded poster. Five positions, hiring, first come, first serve. Cool, okay. Well, uh, that is not how I flatten my rod, so I gotta find that. This is a very interesting game so far. I'm going to find that rod and probably open that box and then we'll end the first episode because I don't want to spend too, too much time um, on every single episode so it gets kind of long and lengthy. But, anywho, ooh, what's this? Is that a silo? Is this a barn? It must be, maybe the factory. Oh, it is a factory, okay. All right, I'm going to go... Um, I guess I'll just go down here. Oh, it's a smasher thingy. Okay, there. Ah! Do you want me to crush the pipe here, energy? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Alright, is that the only thing that's working this entire building? Kinda looks like it. Well, that kinda sucks. Is this guy, like, here? 
Rubble sitting on a conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. Okay, so nothing has power around here. And that's what that generator should take care of for me. Um, let's see here. I have a crowbar, a light bulb, and an empty bottle. I'm going to open that box and see what's in there. So he must be one of the few robots that have power no matter what. Um, the box is over here, though. What's this say? Self oh, this is the battery. Okay, so self-charging solar battery model. A one-year warranty included. Simply replace the self-charging battery. Okay, cool. I gotcha. Oh, I probably should have read all of that. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Uh, the battery fails to charge. Uh, check to see if the lens in the front side has not been dislodged during transport. Uh, one charge cycle lasts about 10 days. If you notice the decline in charge cycle is in the warranty period. Okay, there we go. Box look interesting. Yeah, I, I have... There. This bar should open it. A little metal cube with some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Alright. Well, if it's solar... Oh, you know what? It's a broken battery. Has some broken glass in it. So... It said what? Battery fails, then it's a lens. So I need to find a lens of some sense. My goodness. <laughs> this game's complex. But, as I said, I'm going to end right here, and then we're going to be right back with another episode. Because um, I don't want to make these too, too long. And then I'll go in here and see if I can figure out where the lens is or something. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.